Hi, I'm the Moorlander and this is Moorlander EDC. Today's piece of content is kind of a little bit special because this is one of the first ones that I'm starting to make where these are directly from comments and feedback and requests from the Moorlander EDC community. Um, this was um, kind of related to some flashlights that I'd shown in the past and there was a request for it. And I'll always try as hard as I can to try and see if I can get some of those products to test out and you know give my honest feedback on. The first one that I have today, which I've been wearing here the entire time, is from Nightcore and it is the Tip SE or the TIP SE. Um, I guess, I mean, I would say tip, but some people might call it a TIP. The SE on the end, there seems to be a little bit of internet debate as to what the SE stands for. So I used some of my contacts within Nightcore to try and find out what that stands for. Uh, and I'm reliably informed that the SE stands for Sexy Edition. So there you go. There's there's a Moorlander EDC first for, uh, for the community. Um, so what we'll do, as we usually do, we'll go into the ins and outs of this so that you can see a little bit more about it. Before I do, full disclosure, this was sent to me by Manventure. Um, I've worked with them in the past and they were the first people that I thought of when it comes to Nightcore to ask if we could uh, test out one of these. So this was sent to me free of charge, um, but from the discussions that I have with Manventure and the, the amazing staff there, um, if I hate this, I'm more than, more than welcome to say that I hate it. If I like it, then all of the, um, I suppose, all of the opinions, I try to stay away from opinions, but everything about this will be, hopefully be 100% factual, whether I like it or not. Um, but yeah, so what I'll do is I'll turn the camera around so that we can see more from this. If at any point during this video, you do like this content, please feel free to hit that like button, uh, hit subscribe would be awesome. And if you'd like to share this content, that'd be great as well. But for now, let's turn it around and have a look at the tip SE. Okay, so we'll go through some specifications and measurements as we usually do. The flashlight itself is nice and small, it's very compact, so this pretty much fits into anything, any pocket, any pouch, anything like that. Uh, and with the aid of the clip here on the back, it also makes it um, very versatile in the way in which that it can be mounted. So as far as measurements, it measures 60 millimeters by 25 millimeters by 14 millimeters deep. Now that is without this attached pocket clip, which, um, or at least clip, uh, it, it serves more functions than just a pocket clip. But without that on here, um, it, that that's how to reduce the size down to that 14 millimeters. I mean, when it's on, it probably adds an extra three millimeters tops it's not a particularly huge or bulky pocket clip um, but it does it does add slightly to it um, as far as construction uh, there are some parts in here the I mean, little rubber bits here there's a little metal clip at the back but the vast majority of this body is made from aluminium there's two versions of this there is a gray version which is the version that i have here and then there is a black version as well as far as the similarities between the two, they're both exactly the same model other than the fact that one's grey and, and, and one's black. Weight wise, because it's made from aluminium, it's very nice and light, um, which adds to the fact that you can use this light in so many different ways with the attached pocket clip um, and not even notice that it's there while you're using it. And it comes in at 26 grams. As far as the actual use and um, the, the, the points around here, hopefully you'll be able to see on the side there is a USB Type-C charging port. Um, I actually prefer, and it's great that companies are now starting to adopt USB Type-C because it's getting a little bit cheaper to make now because it's becoming used a lot more uh, wide in other products. Um, you know, it, it's starting to come in, it, it makes it more reliable, it makes the charging faster and there are, uh, there are a lot less delicate I should say uh, but what the pocket clip also does is hopefully you'll be able to see there is it just slides over that to stop any muck and dirt and different things from getting into there that really you just don't want to be in there um, it is uh, water resistant it is uh, IP54 rated so you can get this wet you don't really want to start submerging it but you know it's fine to be used whilst out and about and you really don't have to worry that much if it does get wet so that's that's how you charge it on the side while it's charging 
you'll notice on the top here there are some lights in these buttons while it's charging I think it's red and then when it's fully charged it either turns green or blue I'll, I'll, I'll triple check that but it does give indication that it is fully charged on the front hopefully you'll be able to see here that it's dominated by the two LEDs that you have in here um, I hope I call these right are the, the, these are OSRAM or OSRAM P8 um, LEDs um, which are great um, I find that you get a little bit more of a spread from two LEDs which does seem to fill what you're looking at more um, one thing you know it's, it's easy to com compare something like like the the tip se to the recently released tiki um, because you've got two leds on the front there again it just helps to illuminate the same area with the same um, lumen levels um, but there on the front uh, last little thing i suppose to point out is uh, here are your operating switches there is an on and off uh, which is all in the same button and then here on the front this I suppose it's like a menu or a settings option so once it's turned on you can then switch between the different light levels or lumen levels with this with, with this other button here what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this off well actually while I'm taking it off I'll just show that you can have it on that way or if you wanted to you can turn it around so that it, it completely faces the other way if you um, choose to use it like that which again just adds to the modularity and the way in which it can be used Last little point I suppose is here on the back there is a little ring so that if you wanted to attach this to a lanyard have it around your neck or even have it on your car keys or anything like that then that just makes it super convenient that it's there in your hands when you need it. As previously mentioned the, the the use and function of this really is quite simple you have these two buttons you have an on and an off and then this is your function mode so as far as use is concerned it's very simple there's no double taps triple taps single double crested backflip with your hand turned behind the back whilst winking to the sun gods on the left you want it on you press the on button there you can see that it is on you want it turned off then you use your off button when it's turned on here the button in front of there then cycles through the different modes so there's low there's medium there's high there are some extra features to these buttons um, as far as being able to get to quick settings so if you want to get to the moonlight mode or the low mode if you keep your finger on the on button then it will automatically go to the low light mode. So whatever the memory is set, if you've been using this on high for the last three or four days and it will always remember to go onto high, if you want it just to go onto that low mode, you just keep your finger on the on button for a few seconds and it'll go onto the, the, the low moonlight mode. If you want to go on to the turbo mode, which is only accessible through this uh, feature, and that is with the function button here. So you keep your finger on it for a few seconds and then it starts with the turbo mode, which is 700 lumens. Um, and again, to turn that off, you just hit the on off button, um, which is the, 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 the closer one to the, bra the branding here. So to go through some information on the actual settings themselves, so if I put that on, just make sure, yep, yeah, that's on the, on the low mode. So on low mode here, this is one lumen. It manages to give a decent bit of light. I think mainly that comes down to the fact that there are the two LEDs there, so there's a little bit more of a, of a spread, even though it is still using the same um, amount of light. With the 500 milliamp hour battery that's in here on the, the the low setting here, which is one lumen, you'll get approximately 50 hours worth of light from it. I've tested it. You know, I've had this in my pocket for well, <laughs> well over a month now, um, and yeah. I generally tend to find that the low mode is the mode that I use the most and I can vouch that yes I've got approximately 50 hours of out of this um, whilst testing it you then press the function button again it will then take you up to the next step which is the um, the medium or mid mode that is 30 lumens and with the 500 milliamp hour battery you'll get approximately eight hours of light from that um, Again, it's just very good. It's a very nice, even spread. There's no warm spots. It just it just floods very nicely uh, when it's when it's used. 
Um, the next you hit again, that then goes into the high mode, which is 180 lumens in a room like this. You know, it it, it fills it really nicely. You can find whatever you need to. Um, as far as reflections are concerned, you're not getting anything that's bouncing back and blinding you while you're using it. Great for camping to be able to find things wild out, out and about. If you want then to get to the turbo mode, that is where you use this function button for the turbo mode function. It's the only way to be able to get to that function by using this mode. And that is you hold it down for a few seconds and it'll come on and this is the turbo mode which is 700 lumens and that will give you 15 minutes or approximately 15 minutes of light from the 500 milliamp hour battery. Um, it's perfect in fact, I, uh, you know, I have used a lot of these smaller flashlights. I've already shown you the, 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 the ticky here. They make very useful pocket lights, but what I've found over this, over say the ticky, the ticky is great because you've got all of those triple clicks for all of the different functions that you've got, got on here, but this takes it back a little bit more to basics. What you've got is a basic flashlight that has a few different settings on there for different modes that you want to use in different environments, but still tries to keep it fairly simple but also because of this aluminium um, chassis this aluminium body makes it very tough you can drop this with the ip54 rating you can drop this from roughly a meter and really not have to worry about that so that's pretty much everybody's pocket if you drop it from there anything up to like i don't know six foot four it's it's kind of pocket height um, it's very useful, very, very useful. Now the pocket clip itself, I found for different mountings, makes it even more useful. Now the extra versatility that the clip brings you is the way in which this can be mounted to lots of different things. So here's a couple of different ways that I've used it. I'm sure you could probably think of a thousand things off the back of this. The first one that always springs to mind uh, on, you know, it's just a great way to use it is on the uh, brim of a cap. You can have it on there so that while it's on, you've got that directional light. So whenever you're moving your head around, it will illuminate what you're looking at. I know this style of setup is used a lot by fisher, fishermen that are fishing at night because they can see into the water from above. Uh, one way in which I tend to use it a little bit more is on these loops that you get on your backpack straps. So here is generally where I tend to have it. You can have it a little bit further onto your shoulder, which gives you direct light straight in front of you. But if you tend to use these ones closer to the front, it gives you a light that shines down about a meter to two meters ahead of you. It's great for walking the dogs, particularly because you can see what they're up to. And I've got a black dog and you know, I have to make sure that I don't kick him. Unfortunately, I kick him a lot because in the dark, he's just, he's just invisible. He's like the predator, honestly. Um, so it shines just into the area in front of you so that you can see exactly what you're walking into or especially in the woods like this, you need, you need to watch out for those knots in the floor. It's great and it's perfect for that to have one on each side would be ace i'd feel like i was in some sort of sci-fi adventure um, but you can have it on full mode so that you can see everything um, if you were doing some sort of orientation in the dark which I generally tend i guess you probably wouldn't be doing but if you have a map to hold your map up here it shines the light perfectly onto your map if you want to then put it down into moonlight mode so that you don't dazzle yourself and lose a bit of that nighttime vision and then put your map away then tap on it again on the function button you've got your full um full mode and you can you can see exactly what you need to in front of you these straps um these elastic straps are very useful on a lot of these sort of backpacks um i'm certainly finding a lot with night coal products that what they do is they manage to provide you with something that falls in a very very nice sweet spot the value for money that you get from them is great. You know, it, it doesn't break the bank to be able to buy products like this. I'll leave some affiliate links in the description if you want to use some of those. That would be, you know, it, it does help out my channel. It's through no extra cost to you. Um, but they, they have got that sweet spot on, on being able to get these for a great value, but also the construction that you're getting, especially with the tip and some of the, the other higher models, um, with that full aluminium body, the IP54 rating, you know, although you know, you're not supposed to be throwing this around, but if you were to drop this, you've got that kind of 
security that you know it's it's not going to break i haven't done a drop test on this i couldn't couldn't really do it here in the forest because it would just i mean it would just bounce anyway but uh, rest assured that this is a great um a very well constructed product i forgot what i was going to say then for a second um i'm struggling with my words today but yes it's a uh, it's a great product and i definitely recommend it i think what these smaller flashlights do is they fit into a category that makes them a lot more convenient and i think for edc convenience certainly tops a lot of other flashlights you can get ones your, ge your general flashlight you know it's around about maybe three three and a half inches which is what it's about 12 to 14 centimeters they fit in your pocket they're great um, but there, ha there are times when you need to consider which one to carry because of the size not particularly bulky but when it comes to flashlights these keychain style flashlights you're getting a lot of light out of these there's a decent sized battery in there so that you can get more than you need out of them and you never really have to sit there and have that conversation with yourself as to whether or not you can afford to fit this in to your gear or your rotation because it doesn't take up that much space that you might have with another flashlight to think you know is this going to fit in like today where has it gone so i've got the olight i 5t on me again it's not a massive flashlight but when you consider the difference between the two and the weight um, this is so much easier to think yeah I'll, I'll pop that into my pack or i'll bring this into my rotation because it's just you know it's great to be able to fit in there um so yeah great well done nightcore on another great product um, a huge thank you as i mentioned at the beginning of this video a huge thank you to um manventure all of the uh, night core content that I've made has all been due to uh, Manventure being able to send these out to me. This is, as I mentioned again before, you know, this is 100% off the back of requests from you guys. I got in touch with Manventure and asked if they'd like to work on another piece of content and they said, yeah, they'd be more than happy to. Diana, you are an angel and I thank you uh, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what the new 2021 um, products are so thank you and thank you to man venture there are all of the links below there are my links as well um, if you have liked this content please feel free to hit like i'd love it if you could subscribe because you'll be able to see future content and share this that would be great if you're part of any know, flash like community groups and you thought they might find this useful that would be awesome um, but yeah for now stay safe stay more and stay edc